dark spawn I see. Just given up, you know. Well, that was close. For a moment there, I thought I was really about to join the Legion of the Dead. I might have cracked a rib, but it's hard to be sure. Everything hurts. I'm sure they intended to turn me into a brood mother. They do that with females, and Darkspawn are nothing if not predictable. Anyway, I can't chat for long. I should probably go back. As foolish as that sounds, see if there's anything I can do. The old fortress of Calharol. There's something going on there. I think the Dark Spawn are breeding an army. The Legion went to investigate, but Calharol proved too much for us. It was a massacre, and now I. I'm the only one left. When I saw my friends cut down, I... I got scared. I fled. The Dark Spawn have changed. They're smart now. They destroyed the Legion. I saw them taking some of the women, and I wasn't about to stick around for that. What? Really? Did I mention Calharal was a death trap? Why do you want to do this? Ah, my condolences. Let's not waste time. Calharol awaits, and Darkspawn, when left to their own devices, get up to all kinds of nonsense. Thunder, Humper. Andraste's blood. I remind. I don't know much about Calharol, except what the others from the Legion told me. It used to be important, a center of learning for the Smithcast. When the fortress was lost, a lot of what the smiths had learned was lost with it. They've never built anything quite like Calharal since. <laughs> it's Juka. He's hurt. Bad. Sigrun? Yes, it's me. Be still and try not to talk. No. I feel my death upon me. And it is a sweet release. No! I have bandages. I can help. You must listen. The, the brute mothers. They're breeding. I saw an, an army. You... you must... you must stop them. But... but... beware the children. They are abominations. Even among Darkspawn. What? What children? Whose children? <laughs> Ancestors look kindly on you, brother. We have to finish what the Legion started. Those brood mothers need to be destroyed. The Legion got this far with no trouble. We got careless and complacent and stormed the main entrance up those stairs. It was a disaster. The Dark Spawn were waiting. They turned the Tig's old defenses against us. We need to learn from the Legion's mistake. Avoid the main door. Most of the old Dwarven fortresses had hidden side entrances. I bet this one does too. We just need to find it. Don't they mean? For generations, they have told you you are nothing! Swept you away like so much dust! Now you are the only thing standing between them and the Darkspawn that threaten our empire! Show them that you are not nothing! Show them that you can be warriors! 
Let the stone tremble with the thunder of your footsteps! Fight! Generation! The attack! Go! The loss is mine! For all your faults, Ogren, you are a remarkable leader. Forgot. No! This brings back memories. May the stone remember the defenders of Cal Haral, who were born castless and died warriors. Died warriors? He... He wanted them to be remembered as warriors. Warrior cast. And look, he carved their names in this tablet. All of them. We can't just leave this here. We have to find some way to honor the memory of those who died here. Lyrium. The Chantry has... The monopoly on all Lyrium the Dwarves mine. They kill anyone who tries to get around it. Sure, why not? I've always fancied life as a Lyrium smuggler. Maybe I'll wear a dashing chapeau. I used to be a good little Andrustian. I said my prayers, repented my sins, all of it. Yeah, it could have been worse. I could have been made tranquil, haggling over the price of a wand. Or I could be with the Canari. I hear they leash their mages. Or I could be dead. Dead's bad. If I didn't have perspective, I'd still be sitting in a Templar dungeon drooling on my small clothes. A related question. What do Grey Wardens do when there aren't Darkspawn running amok? I mean, are there parties? Do, do we travel the world? Take over small kingdoms? Ah, you are a scholar and a gentleman. Me, I intend to take up knitting. I'll send a scarf to the Templar commander every Saturnalia. Provided I don't end up in some ogre's belly, chewed up into tiny mage pieces. But I'm an optimist. explained it to me, but I'll be a Nug's uncle if I remember what she said. Crazy harpy. Huh. Yeah, the thing just reminded me of Bronca, that's all. Look, Warden, I know she's gone. I know it. But sometimes I... I sought it. at me whimpering like a wet box of kittens. Let's go make paste out of some dark spawn. Thank the Maker. It's a relief to see someone who isn't one of those monsters. Please, for the love of all that's good, let me out. I couldn't stand another minute with these... creatures. Yes! I haven't been injured or infected with the Darkspawn corruption, I swear! Huh. Why haven't they killed you then? And what are you doing here in the first place? Oh, I overheard Colbert talking about the chasm, and I thought I'd... sneak in past the Darkspawn to see if there was any treasure. Well, I... I found something. In this place, before the Dark Spawn caught me. You thief! What you have belongs to the Dwarven people. Well, they weren't here to defend it. It's not stealing if they've abandoned it. You can have it if you let me out. I don't want it anymore. It's caused nothing but trouble. 
I... I'm not sure, but he looks valuable. I've got a nose for these things, trust me. Come on, all I want is to get out of here. Thank you. My life is worth more than this. Take the blasted thing. Thank you. Thank you a million times over. Suspense is killing me. The architect sends many, but does not come himself. He is a coward. I will kill you, and he will know that he has failed to destroy the love. He will know that the mother will tear him apart! <laughs> who, who comes now? I can feel you, but you are no darkspawn! What trickery is he planning? You will die! as all who serve the Architect will die. The Mother demands it! It appears we will inspire the have to put an end to them. And whatever these dark spawn were planning. The rest of the Legion were alive, I know. I know they would honor you in some way. 
I used to wish I could get away from the others. Now I'm all alone and I just want them back. Silly, isn't it? What's curious is that we seem to be caught between two factions of Darkspawn. I've never heard of such a thing. The Darkspawn are by nature vicious, and they have always fought amongst each other. But for there to be two organized factions, this is something else. Good. It's not just me, then. Something has changed in the Darkspawn, and I don't think I like it. Well, it's something to ponder. Especially when you need to be reminded that impending doom is always right around the corner. Oh, I'll probably disappear into the bowels of the Deep Roads, never to be seen again. One good thing about the Deep Roads is that you never run out of Darkspawn to fight. Go? With you? But that would go against my vow. And my plan to disappear into the deep, unmourned, and forgotten. Be a Grey Warden? Is that allowed? Can you be both part of the Legion and a Grey Warden? And I'd be more effective at killing the Darkspawn, won't I? Ha! Huh, how does one say no to this? I will follow you. You seem an alright sort, and I'll be better off with you at my back than alone. Let's go then, the dark spawn await. Cal Herol lost, lost is lost, 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 lost. Mother, be calm. Calm, yes. Once I was calm. Once Mother listened to the beautiful call, felt it wash over her and inside her, and she was calm. But now there is no calm. The father took that away, and now he takes away Cal Hero. My poor pets in Cal Hero. The father knew I would send them against him. The father feared! <laughs> Cal Herol is gone, but the mother still has her tricks. Many, many tricks. But what will the mother do? Do? I will laugh! <laughs> Warden, I... I did warn you about the stone in these parts. Human masons will use whatever's at hand, but for proper walls, you need proper stone. The nearest quarry has some miserable slate nonsense. I need proper granite. The darker the better. But I don't suppose... you know... in your travels... I'll be here. Don't tarry too long. Got a wall to rebuild. Psst. Psst. Warden. Haran is content to let me craft away in obscurity under dreadful conditions. Never a care for the art. The art of crafting. But you, you're not so dreadfully common. Exactly. I want to make wondrous things. Things a dwarf and craftsman would appreciate. If you come across any fantastical materials, could you perhaps visit old Wade? Wade? What are you about? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Remember, fantastical materials. Yes, Commander? Oh, I simply must do something with this. So unique, so rare. Yes, a breastplate. Here, take this. These are a few knickknacks. I need to begin my work. Find them soon. I simply cannot wait. You're back. You need anything? 
<laughs> this will help a great deal. This is iron. Very high quality. Armor and weapons could be made with this. I'll just get to it then. No one appreciates. You arranged for quite the welcome for us, didn't you, Commander? Not that I mind. Gave me a chance to do some proper testing. <laughs> oh, kind of you to notice. I that was my work. The name is Dworkin Glavenock. Some call me Dworkin the Mad. That don't ruffle my beard, though. <laughs> you have to be a little mad in my line of research. <laughs> I developed these particular formulations, but it's the Kunari who perfected the art. That just gets in my craw. Sullen, ashen-skinned giants shouldn't be allowed to outsmart dwarves. So, I've been conducting experiments on lyrium sand and other volatile ingredients. If you got a mind to, hi. We used up all the explosives on those dark spawn. I can make more, but I'm out of lyrium sand. Lyrium dust is all over the place, but that's too fine. Dust's good for fuses, but not the boom I'm looking for. With real lyrium sand, I can set the lads to work. Wonderful. We can start making more explosives. Warden, before you let my brother blow himself to little bitsies, tell him to be careful. Don't listen to Foldrick. I know what I'm about. And how many apprentices have you lost? Three? No, four? We all know the risks. If we succeed, our names will go down in history. Fine. We'll be safe. Happy now, Voldrick? Thanks for your help. Please, take these. Use them to give those beasties a what for. <laughs> Seneschal Verrill has been looking for you. Please go to the throne room. Just give me a moment. Where is he? I know he's here. Cough him up, Warden. No, I mean my peg-legged uncle. Yes, Ogren! Where is that big Bronto turd? Hang on to your beard, woman. Is this a conjugal visit? <laughs> looking for Ogren to grease the old wheel? Don't lay a finger on me. You've done a lot of stupid things on a whim, but joining the Wardens... <laughs> Didn't you say it would be... hot? We were role-playing. Look, I didn't sign up on a whim, all right? You kicked me out. You were just looking for an excuse. You kept trying to make me into something I'm not. I can't play house like you want me to. I'm only good at one thing, Fells, and it's killing. You had a good thing in the army. They respected you. Ah, Felsey. I finally got the old conquer on straight. I don't belong anywhere but here. Fine, Ogren, if that's what you want. The baby and I will just have to get by without you. I just end up being hit. She's a tiny thing, but packs a surprising wallop. And in this mood, she'd go straight for my danglers. Come on, there's Darkspawn waiting to be killed. Uh, you are gonna pay me, right? For all that arse whipping I do for you? A stipend? Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, what's a stipend? Money. <laughs> now there's a word I understand. What an arrangement. You feed me and I get to take my frustrations out on the dark spawn. <laughs> anyway, can I have a pony? Nah, it's okay. I know you think I'm... I'm just... Bronca used to collect these little... little horse statues. Back when... back... whoa... everything's spinning. Then you're... very shiny. Oh, gonna go sit down... now.
All rise. The Warden Commander and Liege Lord of all Amaranthine enters. I've held it off as long as I could, but you hold the right of high justice on your land. Certain matters of court must be decided. By custom, the claimants make their case to you. I'll advise you after, then you rule. The Seneschal of the Vigil can hold court as well, if the Isle commands it. Be seated. The Warden Commander will first hear the matter of the Crown against the sheepherder Alec. On behalf of the Crown, I submit that Alec stole two bushels of grain bound for the garrison in Amaranthine. When confronted by soldiers, he confessed. The punishment for theft from the Crown is death by hanging. What say you, Alec? My sheep were slaughtered by the Darkspawn. My fam... my family was starving. I asked for mercy. Commander, mercy! The poor bugger. Had he stolen from anyone besides the Crown, he'd escape with a flogging. Thank you. Thank you. Next is a serious matter. Danella, a soldier of the Vigil, abandoned her post and was caught three leagues away. She is charged with desertion. Even if it were not a time of war, the penalty would be death. I asked the old captain several times to release me from my oath. The Darkspawn are too near my family's farm. They need me, my lord. I'm no coward. You dishonor everyone who serves the Vigil. You think you are alone in having family under threat. The men are afire over this one. Danella is an accomplished scout, but desertion could destroy the army. I... I won't forget this, Commander. I'll be back. You have my word. Mercy is a fine thing, but armies are held together by discipline. The next matter is of a civil nature. Lady Liza Pacton is the sovereign of Tern's Down. She... I prefer to speak for myself. The old Earl Rendon Howe made certain promises to me. Some of these he committed to paper. I was given the right to the incomes of the Southern Bridge. And what part did you take in Howe's conspiracies, eh, Liza? To get such a fruitful prize. I am Sir Derren, and it is my land she seeks. Taken from me because I was one of the few nobles who stood against Tern Logan. Commander, Sir Darren is an ally, and Amaranthine has precious few who support you wholeheartedly. If there's any hope of persuading more nobles to your cause, you must be fair-minded. My father built that bridge, but very well. I place my trust in you. The Commander has spoken. The matter is resolved. This session of the Arling's Court is over. And make her help me. I hope the next one is easier than this. Commander. Oh, I hope they fare better than Sir Myrene. I'll make the preparations. From this moment forth, Sigrun, you are a Grey Warden. Then let it be. You chose her well, Commander. She will wake shortly. Commander. Wow. I've never seen so many books in my life. This one's a Navarran romance. Pretty spicy, too, from the looks of it. What's an Antivan milk sandwich? Oh. Oh, I see. I'll just put that back. I've only read one book. My friend Barlin taught me while we were in the Legion. He only had the one. He's dead now. He was a noble, once. From House Volney. I don't know why he ended up in the Legion. He wouldn't say. I saw death take my friends, knowing it would take him as well. I fought hard to keep us both alive. Varlin embraced the Legion's philosophy. 
that we were already dead. I couldn't let go like that. Survival. That's what matters. That's what Dust Town taught me. Oh, if I'm gonna get through all these books before the Darkspawn find me, I need to get started. When do we get going? Darkspawn don't kill themselves, you know. So, what about it, huh? Huh? <laughs> I was thinking about my plan for a grand fleet of Mabari chariots. Talked to your dog about it once. Didn't seem impressed. Thing is, the Grey Wardens could use a snazzier image. Everyone thinks we're a grim stick in the muds. Oh, and the ladies love them chariots. Oh, yes. <laughs> hey, you. Is you there? You. <laughs> oh, you're a tricky one. But you're not getting into my head. Oh, no. You with your murmuring and your buzzing. I know your plan. But it won't work. I'm on to you. Aha! You! Trying to distract me with... with rational explanations? Won't... Won't be fooled! Oh... 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 Need something pummeled? Much easier fighting Darkspawn on the surface. On a clear day, you can see for leagues. I once heard about a contraption known as a... Hmm. A spyglass, I think it is called. My friend Barlin said they let you see distant enemies as though they were right beside you. Is that true? It sounds like magic. Then they must be the cleverest people in Thedas. In the deep roads, the Darkspawn can appear from nowhere. A spyglass sounds the very opposite. Someday, while I'm still on the surface, I would like to look through one. When do we get going? Darkspawn don't kill themselves, you know. I owe you an apology. When I returned from the free marches, I was certain my family was destroyed for being on the wrong side of the war. But my father did it to himself. No conspiracies, just one stupid, selfish man. I should have known better. I should have dug deeper before I acted. I was an idiot, and like a child I blamed you and the Wardens. And here you've even proven to be a friend of sorts. Or am I reading that wrong too? Good. You know, when you conscripted me, I would not have thought I'd end up liking it. Anyway, let's be on our way. I don't want to take up more of your time. I don't think we should leave. Commander, the men cleared the rubble. You'll have to see what they found for yourself. Here we are. Look at her. I knew it led to the deep roads. I could smell it. It looks safe enough to climb down. Find a way to stop the Darkspawn from coming back this way. Good luck.
ancestors favor us indeed. This is a dwarven barrier door. Before old Calharol fell, she nearly had it complete. Only the mechanism needs work. If they'd only had a bit more time to finish, Orzammar wouldn't be all alone. Won't take me long to fix up the mechanism. Poor sods were nearly done. This is proper dwarven engineering. You stand back now. Should buy us a few years. A decade if we're lucky. That'll give us time to devise a more permanent solution. Of course. Dreams. You get them? Uh, this is a Grey Warden thing, huh? Why didn't anyone tell me? In my dream, I saw one of those bloated, vomit-smeared brood mothers, and it had Hespeth's face. You remember Hespeth, don't you? Bronca was there, and whispered, It's time! And Hespeth screamed, and a thousand darkspawn burst from her! You're telling me? Then the darkspawn surrounded me and started talking, asking me if I would like lemon in my tea. And could I please teach them to read and write? And then one of them kept repeating, where's the baby? And, and that's when I woke up. <laughs> Usually they accuse me of the opposite. Thanks for listening, Commander. Need something pummel. Need something. I, Commander. Baldrick, come over here. Well, I'll be. We need to send this home, brother. Orzammar must know how the Castless of Kalharol acquitted themselves in their final hours. Castless bearing arms. Oh, that'll go over well. Those Castless are heroes. It must be recorded by the Shaperet. Thank you, Commander. We'll see this is delivered into the right hands. Oh, you're back to visit old Dworkin? Wonderful. Thanks for help. Have you sold that thing I gave you? It's not much, but I hope you get a good price for it. I... no. I feel fine. But you don't think I... Uh, maybe I should just go. I'm all that's left of my family. You're back, eh? My wife. What's it like out there? Darkspawn crawling all over? Thank the Maker. Meek has been afraid to move from this spot since he lost a stupid thing. Sorry. Couldn't go without Lucky Deerfoot. Thanks for finding it. And now we're getting away before the Darkspawn arrive. Good luck to you. <laughs>